We're near Loughborough today in the countryside in the UK. I'm meeting with Champions. Um, this is a quite an interesting company. It started by the dad many years ago. Now it's run by him and his children as well. There's quite a few of them. And Champions is a, it's a PR agency. It's a speaking agency. They look after quite a few celebrities in terms of their TV work, um, literary, the book. So it's the whole thing really, affiliates, influencers. So it's an interesting company. So we've agreed a, a deal. We're going to be working together over the next few years. A few little things to iron out, but we're down here today to do that and hopefully sign the contract. But something I've always done is ignore the barriers. If you put an obstacle in front of me, I will tend to go around it, over it, under it. I've always got to where I wanted to go by focusing on the goal, not what the barrier in front of me. Next thing I know, I'm going to play with uh, Richard Branson, Pinky Champagne, going to Ulus Saba. Ulus Saba is, if you imagine a James Bond villain's lair in the bush, it is the bush with uh, lions chasing an impala, and there's a rocky outcrop <coughs> with security fence with a satellite dish on top, with a six-star hotel on, with infinity pools looking over the bush. It's nuts. Have a look online. We ended up at this place in St. Richard. And the BBC, unfortunately, my, my signal still worked my phone. And the producers were ringing me, saying, Piers, we need to know, are you going to do it? We really want you to, and all the whole sales pitch. I couldn't decide. I, I sit at this bar thinking to myself, staying to my corona, thinking, who on earth could I ask about celebrity, business, mixing the two together. I just need some, I need some support, someone I could talk to. And of course, it was Sir Richard. He came up and sat next to me and said, you were right, you look sort of troubled. And I said, okay, have you got a moment? And he said, okay. So I sat down with him. We had a corona, literally at a table, overlooking literally liars chasing in parlor. I thought it was sort of metaphorical. He says, well, look, Pierce, he said, at the end of the day, I don't really know you. I've known you for a few days, spent some time together. I can see how you're, you'd be different in that kind of program. No one like you's ever done it before. I think you'd be good at it. You obviously understand business. And you're getting this whole, whole sales pitch about why TV is still important. He said that if you get on a plane to go up to, for a new spot, it's still that important. And I said, okay, so what do you think? And his obvious response was, screw it, just do it. So literally he made me pick up my phone at that moment, call the BBC and say, I'm in. This is Jack, one of the Hi family I mentioned earlier, who's uh, been running my part of the, the business that I'm going to be involved in. Yeah, we've tried to sort of wield the power of simplicity by having a one-stop shop to build a brand. So obviously Piers here is uh, a brand no different to Canon, the, the video that's recording now. So it's how do you utilise that brand to commercialise, to educate, inspire um, his uh, followers. So, yes. Yeah so, what, yeah, so what I've needed is, a, like you said, a one-stop shop really to you know, work on you know, the sort of, with a couple of speaking, marketing, PR, everything, because it is quite complicated. Um, so hopefully we're working here with champions to generate more content and get out there, uh, impart the advice I'd like to, and uh, you know, scale up. Oh. Actually, I didn't actually need to sign it. What's being bought? Zoom in on this one, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.